In this video, we are going to be looking at the formation of caves, arches, stacks, and stumps. With regards to coastal landforms, we need to be thinking about what types of exam questions we could be asked in regards to this content. So examiners for this type of content will be looking for you potentially to explain the formation of a feature, in this case, a cave, an arch, a stack, and a stump. They might ask you to annotate or label a photograph or diagram they provide you. Alternatively, they could give you an OS map showing this particular coastal landscape and could ask you to give grid references, measurements using scale, or just to identify on the OS map where this particular coastal feature is. So let's get started with looking at the formation of this particular coastal feature. So step one in the formation of a cave, an arch, a stack and a stump is we have a headland, a piece of land which sticks out or protrudes into the sea or body of water. The sea will come up to the headland and constantly hit the headland causing erosion processes such as hydraulic action and abrasion to take place. This will create lines of weakness in the face of the headland or the front of the headland or even the sides of the headland and this is where cracks begin to appear. Step two is then when these erosional processes, again abrasion and hydraulic action, begin to erode the cracks further and exposing further weakness or faults in the headland to form a small cave. Step three, this cave over time will become wider and deeper in the headland because of this constant erosion by the sea causing abrasion and hydraulic action to expose any faults or cracks in the less resistant rock. Step four, is then the sea cutting through this cave to the other side of the headland to form an arch. Step five is when we have the arch itself growing wider over time because the bottom or the base of the arch is being eroded constantly by the sea. This results in the roof or the top of the arch no longer being supported as the material that was inside the arch is now completely eroded and therefore the roof of the arch is now too heavy and is left unsupported and it eventually will fall and collapse into the sea. Step six is the result of this, which is the creation of a stack, which used to be attached to the headland and is now a standalone piece of material. Over time, this stack will get undercut or eroded further by the sea as it has no protection now as it is exposed and no longer part of the headland. Eventually, the stack will collapse and leave behind a stump. A famous UK example of this coastal feature is Old Harry, located in the south of England. This particular feature is predominantly made of chalk and is therefore less resistant and is more exposed to erosion processes taking place, which has resulted in a cave, an arch and a stack and stump formation being created. If we are then to apply what we have learned to date and consider other exam questions we could be asked by the GCSE examiners, they potentially could give us an image of Old Harry, which you can see on the screen here, and ask us to annotate features of this coastline that we see. So as you can see on the screen, I am annotating this particular photograph with key points or information or features I can see or infer from the photograph just by applying my knowledge of the formation of a cave, an arch, a stack and a stump. Alternatively, they could ask you an OS map skills based question. And this is where they will provide you with an OS map. You will have to find or locate a feature, in this case, Old Harry. And they might ask you to give, in this case, a four-figure grid reference. So we need to highlight the box that Old Harry is located in. We locate the bottom left-hand corner to give a four-figure grid reference. And we go along the corridor and find the line that links to the bottom left-hand corner of our grid square. In this case, it is zero, 05. Then we go up the stairs or up the side of the OS map and again find the two numbers that link to the bottom left hand corner of our grid square. 
in which case it is number 82. And then the answer to this exam question would be, where is old Harry on the OS map? Give a four-figure grid reference. The answer is 0582.